Page 342. Reading 2. Following Grandpa's Footsteps. Last winter, my parents took me hiking in a deep, wide valley near our home. We all love being outside in nature, and my father said this was one of my grandfather's favorite places. I don't remember my grandfather very well, so I was very excited. I wanted to learn more about my grandpa and see why he loved this place so much. My father gave me a picture of my grandfather standing on a frozen lake. He was next to a hole in the ice, holding a big fish he had caught. He looked really proud. And there was a young boy in the picture, too. It looked like the boy was helping my grandpa. Who's that boy in the picture? I asked. Hmm. I really don't know, Sophia, my father said. But maybe we can find out who it is on our visit. Now I was really excited. There's nothing I love more than a good mystery. I might even become a detective one day. After we arrived at the Valley Trail, my mother said that we had to leave our car there and hike down to the frozen lake. The only way to get down to Grandpa's lake is on foot, she explained. And we can sleep at the lodge next to the lake tonight. But before we got started, we all stood on a ledge high above the valley. The view was incredible, and I could see Grandpa's lake at the bottom. Okay, my father said finally. We've got water and snacks, and we all have our skates. Everybody put on your backpacks, and let's get going. I was so happy to be on an adventure with my parents. About halfway down, we stopped for a rest. We sat on rocks and had some cookies and hot chocolate. Mom surprised us. There were so many birds and small animals all around us. And somebody made a snowman. It's so beautiful here, I said. It is my mother agreed. Even in winter, birds and animals thrive in this valley. And the frozen lake has lots of fish under the ice. My father added, Your grandfather loved to go ice fishing in that lake. Can we skate on the lake, Mom and Dad? I asked. Yes, yes of, of course, course, they said. But, but first, we, we have, have to get, get down, down this trail. trail. After a long hike, we finally made it to the bottom. I was tired, and my parents knew it. Well, just wait till we have to climb back up the trail, and I'm not carrying your backpack. My father laughed. Gee, I hadn't thought of that, I said. Then Mom said, Let's check in at the lodge and get our room. Then we can go skating on the lake before dinner. I could already feel myself skating across the ice. And I have to figure out who that boy is in the picture, I remembered. The lodge was very natural and really nice. Everything was made of wood, and there was a big fire burning. We could even see the lake from our room. I asked the woman at the front desk if she knew the boy in the picture. But she had no idea. Then we all went skating. My dad held my hand and spun me in a circle. It was so much fun. We could see some people ice fishing, too. That night, after a delicious dinner, we were all very tired. Today was a great day, my mom said. Now, let's all get some sleep. As I started to fall asleep, I was still thinking about the boy in the picture with my grandpa. Who was he? The next morning, we were eating our breakfast when a man came up to our table. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your visit to the lodge. My name is Rick, and I am the owner. My parents thanked him and said how lovely everything was. And then I thought to myself, maybe he would know the boy in the picture. Excuse me, sir, I said. My name is Sophia. I have an old picture of my grandfather ice fishing on the lake, and... As I handed him the picture, he looked at me, smiled, and said, 
I remember your grandfather very well. That's me in the picture with him. He used to take me fishing with him when my parents were running the lodge. He was such a nice man. It was thrilling. I had solved the mystery of the picture. The man was very kind and told me many stories about my grandpa. I felt more connected to my grandfather than ever before. I was in a place that he loved, and I was talking with someone who he spent time with. I really felt like I was walking in my grandpa's footsteps.